In the morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome once again to St. Mark Bemidji's podcast, a place where common people can gather around the uncommon grace of our Lord Jesus to hear his words of life for us. Prayer is a powerful thing. Many people say that they pray, but sometimes I wonder if we believe it does anything. I fear that sometimes people just use the word prayer as a stand-in for positive thoughts or well wishes. The act of prayer is the act of petitioning the king of all creation to help you with something. Anything. As imaginative as my mind is, I cannot fathom in any real sense the power involved in creating everything. God created everything in six days, and most of it in one. To be everywhere in this vast universe that our finest telescopes can barely perceive, and in just a word or two create all of it, is beyond mind-boggling. This is the God we're asking for help from. There is absolutely no limit to his power, no limit to his skill and his creativity in overcoming any problem. This image of an all-powerful God can also be intimidating. Why would he care about my puny problems? While we shouldn't forget how huge God is, we should also remember how detailed and caring he is. This is the same God who also sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins. And he did it by stooping down and becoming one of us, born poor, living a life scorned by the mainstream of society. This same Jesus, God incarnate, took the time to bless the children, to heal the sick and the helpless, to help his mother, to even find out who just brushed his clothes in a big crowd. Our God covers the gambit. There isn't anything too big or too small to bring to his attention. And it isn't like the fire alarm on the wall either. You know, the one that we pull when all else has failed. No, prayer should be more like the reliable lead-off hitter in your baseball lineup. If you bring your task, your problem, whatever it may be to a God who loves you so much that he sent his son to die for you, will he not bless your efforts? Does it mean that everything you pray for turns out the way that you expect it every time? Nope. Our God knows how to make things turn out best for those who love him. And sometimes this looks like failure to our stubborn small minds. Sometimes we need someone else to show us a different perspective. And that's why it's great to pray with and pray for others. As social creatures, we can't help but talk about the things that are on our minds. This support will help us see things away from our own preconceived notions. This podcast has never been about me. It's about helping the people listening to hear the word and to drive them to spend ever more time with God. So I don't mind shamelessly plugging other good programs that do the same. Time of Grace Ministries has a podcast called Little Things. And if you'd like to hear more thoughts about prayer, I'd encourage you to listen to the Sunday, 30 April, 2023 edition. I'm already behind in publishing this podcast, so let's get on to today's devotion from MPH's Meditation Daily Devotional. From John chapter 10, verses 3 and 4. The sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. I've never herded sheep but I can herd fish pretty well. I've kept aquarium fish for most of my life, and all the fish I've ever owned do the same thing. When I come to the tank and open the lid, they swim to the surface. They do that because they know me. Well, at least they know that when the lid opens, food appears. Most animals are like that. They become familiar with the people who spend time with them and feed them. King David knew the shepherd's voice and the value of listening to his shepherd's voice. He knew that the time he spent listening to his Savior's voice would be the most blessed time of the day. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. 
He refreshes my soul. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23 Mary was another person who knew her shepherd's voice. One day, when her sister Martha was distracted by the voice of duty calling her to get ready for the evening meal, Mary heard only the voice of her Savior, giving her the food that would give her eternal life. By God's grace, you and I have been trained by the Holy Spirit to recognize the voice of our shepherd. We have heard our shepherd calling us to leave behind the sins we have committed and find forgiveness in him. We have gone out of the gate he opened to us through his life and death, and once he has us all together, we follow him, confident of his care. We know that he will lead us to pastures that contain whatever we need. If we lack what we need for this life, we know he will lead us to pastures filled with whatever we are short of. If we are burdened with guilt, we know we will find pastures of forgiveness. If we are facing death, we know he will lead us to pastures of life in him. Good Shepherd, I lack nothing when I am with you. Thank you for enabling me to recognize your voice. Lead all your people to pastures that contain exactly what they need for their souls. Amen. We hope that today's meditation on God's Word has enriched you. Divine services are held right here in Bemidji, Minnesota at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school and adult Bible study is also offered between our Sunday services at 9.15 a.m. Our church services are live-streamed at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings and are available afterwards on our channel, St. Mark Lutheran Church Bemidji. If you're listening or watching this podcast, you are cordially invited to join us in person next week and every week. This is our fourth year producing this podcast, and there is a large archive of devotional material online available if you want to learn more about God and His Word. Visit www.stmarkbemidji.org or look in the show notes in this podcast for a link to this and many other meditations on God. You can also search for St. Mark Bemidji on YouTube to find our channel. If you have any questions or you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website, which is once again, www.stmarkbemidji.org. All scripture readings are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version, copyright 2011, and are used by permission from Zondervan. Meditation's daily devotional is published by Northwestern Publishing House and is also used by permission. If you enjoy this podcast, please consider subscribing and telling a friend. May God bless the rest of your day. He, because I could not pay it, gave my full redemption cry. Do I need of treasures many? I have one worth more than any. That brought me salvation free, lasting to eternity.